Family of a missing Cape Coral mother could be closer to finding out what happened to her, but it is a heartbreaking development. You're watching Fox 4 News at 5, and I'm Shari Armstrong. Tonight, investigators say they are seeking dental records of Lauren DeMolo to see if they match up with the human remains found off of Pine Island Road. She was last seen in late June 2020, and tonight, detectives with Cape Police and the Sheriff's Office say they believe the remains match the description of DeMolo. So we want to get right to Fox 4's Rob Mann. She's live at the spot right off of Pine Island Road where we believe the remains have been found based on our reporting. But Rob, investigators have not officially confirmed that this is the spot, right? Yeah, so earlier this week, we were contacted by a Fox 4 viewer who says he saw Lee County deputies removing a body from these woods over here off of Pine Island Road near the intersection of US 41 business. So I turned around and gave that address to the Lee County Sheriff's Office, and just yesterday they responded with an incident report. Now, most of it was redacted, including the address and what was found there, but it did say something was discovered. So because the Sheriff's Office sent us that report in response to us, providing the address that leads us to believe that these are the woods where police found the remains. Now, in today's press conference, police said they couldn't confirm that the remains were those of Lauren DeMolo, but they did say it was a white woman between the ages of 30 and 50. They also said they could determine that the person had been dead longer than six months, but less than five years. We talked with Cape Coral Police Chief Anthony Sizemore after the press conference. He says this is a major discovery. It was another tip, but it looked more and more promising, and it's probably, I would say confidently, our best lead to date. Now, at this time, police are asking for dental records from the past 10 years from dentists who may have worked on Lauren DeMolo's teeth. They say that's the fastest way that they might be able to identify these remains and tell whether they are, in fact, Lauren DeMolo. But coming up tonight on Fox 4 News at 6, we just spoke with a woman here in this shopping center minutes ago who says she saw police activity in these woods just last week. But for now, we're live in North Fort Myers. Rob Manch, Fox 4. Update, Rob, thank you so much.